this announcement. If you're over 5'10 or 5'10, you are a tree. If you are under 5'10, you're a squirrel. Find your tree. Claim it. It's yours now. What's happening, people? The four foot nine legally blind guy has a challenge for you, so get up off your asses. I want you to try something. All right, so tall, tall people and short people, listen. This is what I want you to do. I want you to get on the ground. Now I want you to get up on one leg. Not two, just one. I don't want you to grab on something to pull yourself up. I don't want you to rock on your back to get yourself up with one leg. I just want you to simply get up with just one leg. Got it? Cool. Listen, this is what it looks like. Get up off your asses, and then get on your asses, and then it, that's a rock in my ass. This is what I want you to do. It's simple. Simple. That's it. I want tall people to do it, because I think it'd be funny. Tag it. Tag me in it. Send it to me. Do what you gotta do. All short people, tag me in it. Send it to me. Do what you gotta do. Alright, there's a challenge. Now accept it. See you people are so cool. So this is what I'm learning being on TikTok. My daughter hates it. I'm okay with that. Whatever. <laughs> but I get to day drink with you all. <laughs> Top five reasons Generation X is the best generation. Number one, Generation X were young adults during 9-11, meaning that they saw the world come together for a common cause, unlike the generations now fighting and bitching over things that are often superfluous. Number two, Generation X had the best cast on Saturday Night Live. You'll have plenty of time for rolling doobies when you're living in a van down by the river. Generation X had way better entertainment. Rock and roll was still rock and roll, not this estrogen-filled emo weirdness that's going on now. Video games were actually video games, not poorly written interactive movies. And they had Darth Vader instead of Darth Maul. Come on, man. Four, Generation X understands OK Boomer way better than a lot of people think. You know, this was the generation of punk rock, the people that were less inclined to listen to the stupid ass advice of their parents. That's led our younger generations to still be living at home. Number five, and most importantly, you Generation X folks understand that political correctness is really just insecure bullshit. Hey, if you're seeing this on your For You page, you're probably Canadian. That means we should follow each other. I don't want to fall asleep. I hey, yo, jawline check. What it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we're golden, baby, yeah, we're golden. So I walked outside today and I was like, oh, yeah, the sun is shining. We're doing an outdoor workout. And I'm out here. I got my summer vibes playlist going. And I'm like, yeah, fuck, I'm gonna get my tan back. And then I was even like, oh, shit, I should be careful. I might get a sunburn. And then I was like, wait a second. What temperature is it? It's seven degrees outside. Seven degrees. So it has come to my attention that everybody is asking me heaps and heaps of questions. They're like, where in Australia are you from, mate? And I'm like, crikey, it's just this small place called Canada. So it's a beautiful day to be a paratrooper. Hollywood jump. Nobody around. Canopy deployed. All right. Let's get it. Just gonna stand there. Oh my God, I want to take him home. We can oh put him in the truck. We can put him in the truck. We can put him in the truck. Look at him.
I got a chip. Here, I'll get down to your level. Come here. I got a chip. I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry. Come on. Come on, my little deer. Come on, deer. Look, come here. Come here. Look. Oh my God, I feed a deer! Ow! Oh! Look at them coming out of the woodworks! Oh my God, there's all the deer! <laughs> this is great! We're feeding deer! Here, I got you. Look. Oh yeah, you eat that! Oh yeah! Oh, you're a good deer! You're a good deer! Oh my God, I love every second of this. You guys are great. We'll be back with more food.